My beloved child, today, I come to you with a message that is woven into the fabric of the universe, a lesson that transcends time and space, and a principle that is foundational to the life I envision for you. In a world where the scales of justice often tip according to the weights of wrong and retaliation, I urge you to live by a different standard, a divine standard. You see, my child, the world teaches that to give as good as one gets is the way to ensure fairness and to protect one's dignity. Yet, this approach only perpetuates cycles of hurt and misunderstanding. It builds walls where there could be open fields. I ask you not to conform to this pattern, but to transcend it, to embody a spirit of grace and mercy that mirrors my own heart. I have shown you time and again through my words and my actions how to treat others not as they deserve, but with love unyielding and kindness unending. Remember how I walked among you, offering forgiveness to those who sought to harm me, extending a hand to the outcast, and lifting up the downtrodden. I have loved you with an everlasting love, one that does not keep a ledger of wrongs, but is ever hopeful, ever patient, and ever enduring. So, I call you to this radical way of living. Treat others better than they treat you. Respond to indifference with interest. Meet scorn with kindness. Counter disdain with dignity. This is not a call to disregard your worth or to tolerate mistreatment, but rather to affirm your identity as a bearer of my light and love in a world that desperately needs it. In this journey, you are not powerless. You are empowered by the mightiest force in existence, my love. It is this love that transforms hearts and renews minds. It is this love that tears down the barriers of bitterness and builds bridges of hope. Each act of kindness, each gesture of compassion, each word of encouragement you offer plants seeds that can grow into trees of life for others. As you step into each day, remember that you are not walking alone. I am with you, guiding you, strengthening you, and rejoicing in every step you take on this path of higher calling. The challenges may be great and the resistance strong, but the victory is already yours because you are acting in my name and for my glory. So, go forth, my child, in boldness and in peace. Shine brightly in a dim world. Love deeply in a shallow world. Live rightly in a confused world. And as you do, you will find that the life you enrich the most with these acts of love and mercy will often be your own. Be assured of my unending presence with you, for I am just a prayer away, always ready to listen, always ready to guide, and always eager to help. Lean on me, and together, let us make this world a little more like heaven, one act of love at a time. My son, and as you move forward, Remember the promises I have made to you. My word assures you that blessed are the peaceful, for they shall be called the children of God. In embodying this peace, you proclaim your heritage as my child, a living testimony to my character. Consider how the smallest acts of kindness can ripple through the lives of those around you. Just as a single pebble can create waves across a vast ocean, so too can your actions of mercy and love influence the world far beyond what you might see. Each time you choose to respond with generosity instead of greed, patience instead of haste, and forgiveness instead of anger, you are spreading the very essence of my kingdom on earth. In doing so, you will encounter opposition. The path of righteousness is not an easy one and it is often met with skepticism and ridicule. But do not be disheartened, for I have overcome the world, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel overwhelmed, call upon me, and I will fortify your spirit. My grace is sufficient for you, and my strength will carry you through every trial and triumph. Furthermore, as you walk this path, Cultivate a spirit of gratitude. 
Be thankful not only for the blessings you can easily see, but also for the hidden blessings that reveal themselves in the challenges. Gratitude will keep your heart anchored in joy and peace, even in the midst of turmoil. It will keep you aware of my presence and my goodness, which never fail, even when circumstances are tough. In addition, extend this love and grace not only to those who are easy to love, but also to those who challenge you the most. This is where true growth and the depth of my teachings take root. Loving those who differ from you, who disagree with you, or who may not readily return your kindness is the ultimate test of the divine love I have placed within you. It is in these moments that you reflect my image most clearly to the world. Lastly, as you continue on this journey, nurture your relationship with me. Spend time in my presence through prayer and reflection on my word. Let it be the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. As you draw near to me, I will draw near to you, providing wisdom, comfort, and direction. So, my precious child, go forth with courage and conviction. Know that you are never alone, for I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Let your life be a beacon of my love and mercy. Through you, let others see a glimpse of the kingdom to come, a world ruled by love, a world where every tear is wiped away, and where peace reigns forevermore. My precious child, live each day fully aware of the purpose I have bestowed upon you. Let your actions not just be reactions to the world around you, but proactive steps of faith moving forward in the assurance of what I have planned for your life. Your journey is not just about avoiding negativity, but about actively creating positivity building, nurturing, and healing in ways that reflect my original design for humanity. You are called not only to survive but to thrive, to not merely endure but to excel in expressing my love through every interaction. Whether it is through a smile to a stranger, an encouraging word to a friend, or forgiveness to an adversary, each choice you make to embody my love is a victory against the darkness. Remember, you carry within you the light of my presence, which can illuminate even the darkest paths. As you continue to walk in this divine light, let your life be a testament to the hope that resides within you. Hope not built on human expectations, which are fleeting, but founded on the eternal promise of my goodness and faithfulness. Let this hope be your strength when challenges arise and your anchor when storms come. For just as I have promised, those who hope in me will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Keep your eyes not on the transient troubles of this world, but on the lasting truths of my kingdom. For my kingdom is not one of disorder and decay, but of enduring peace and restoration. As you align your life with my will, you will find yourself aligning with the forces of restoration, becoming an agent of change in a world craving redemption. My child, never forget that your life is a song of worship, a melody played out in every decision you make live intentionally, choosing notes that compose a harmonious symphony of love and service, reflecting the beauty of my holiness. Your life, lived in faithful adherence to my call, becomes a powerful instrument in my hands, capable of stirring hearts and awakening souls to the beauty of divine truth. In your moments of doubt, or when you feel your purpose waver, return to me. I am always here waiting with open arms and an open heart, ready to guide you back to the path I have set before you. Together, we can walk through any hardship, overcome any obstacle, and celebrate every triumph. For in me, you have everything you need to face whatever comes your way. So go forward, my beloved child, with confidence and faith. Know that I am with you, loving you, guiding you, and cheering you on every step of the way. Let your light shine brightly, 
for in doing so, you light the way for others, drawing them closer to me through the testimony of your life. My child, as you carry forth this light, remember, it is not by your might nor by your power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This understanding is crucial, as it shapes every interaction you have and every decision you make. You are not alone in your endeavors. My spirit within you is a constant helper, guiding you, empowering you, and interceding for you when words fail. Embrace this divine partnership with joy and with humility. Recognize that it is my grace that enables you to extend love in the face of hatred, peace in the midst of chaos, and forgiveness when wronged. These are not mere acts of human will, but manifestations of divine presence in your life, evidence of my spirit working through you. Moreover, remember the community around you. You are part of a larger body, a family bound by faith and love. Support one another, encourage one another, and build each other up. Just as a single thread has little strength alone, when woven with others, it forms a tapestry of great beauty and resilience. So it is with you and your brothers and sisters in faith. Together, you can face greater challenges, carry heavier burdens, and reach higher heights than any of you could alone. In this unity, also find the courage to be vulnerable. Share your struggles, your doubts, and your fears. I have made you not for isolation, but for community. In your vulnerability, you allow others to serve you, to love you, and to minister to you, just as you serve, love, and minister to them. This mutual care is a powerful witness to the world of my love and my kingdom. As days pass and turn into years, let your heart not grow weary of doing good. For at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. The fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are always worth cultivating. They are the marks of my spirit, the evidence of my work in your life, and the seeds that when sown, produce life-changing impact in the lives of others. Therefore, walk in wisdom, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Understand what I will for you is good, pleasing, and perfect. Be wise in your interactions, discerning in your choices, and thoughtful in your words. As you do, you'll navigate the complexities of this life not as one groping in the dark, but as one led by the light of my wisdom. Finally, my child, remember I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Fear not the uncertainty of tomorrow, nor the shadows of the past. My love for you is constant and unchanging. Lean into this everlasting love, which provides not only the blueprint for how you should live, but also the security that you are never, ever alone. Proceed with faith, bolstered by my promises, animated by my spirit, and assured by my unceasing presence. Go forth in peace, knowing that the greatest force in the universe is guiding you and guarding you every step of the way. My beloved, and as you continue on your path, always hold close the knowledge that every day is a new opportunity to reflect my grace and love. With each sunrise, you are presented with a chance to demonstrate the essence of my teachings to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. These principles are not just lofty ideals, but practical directives that can guide each decision and interaction you have, no matter how small or significant. Remember, my child, that your life is a reflection of the divine. It is a canvas on which my spirit paints with broad strokes of grace and detailed touches of care. Let each action you take and each word you speak add color to this canvas, making it a vibrant testament to my love. Your life is not merely a series of events, but a masterpiece in the making, continuously unfolding and evolving as you grow in your faith and understanding. 
In the challenges and trials that inevitably come, find strength in my promises. When you face obstacles that seem insurmountable, recall the stories of those who have walked before you, faithful servants who trusted in my provision and experienced my miraculous power. Just as I was with Moses at the Red Sea, with David against Goliath, and with Esther in the palace, so too am I with you in every moment of uncertainty and fear. Embrace also the joyous moments with gratitude. Celebrate the victories, both great and small, as gifts from above, each one a reminder of my goodness and fidelity. In times of happiness, lift your heart in praise and thanksgiving, for these moments are rays of light that pierce through the darkness, reminders of the eternal hope that anchors your soul. Moreover, extend this hope to others. Be a beacon of faith in a world that often wanders in the shadow of despair. Use the gifts I have given you, talents, time, resources, to serve others and spread the good news of a love that saves and a hope that endures. Your life lived in service is not only a fulfillment of my greatest commandments, but also a powerful invitation to others to come to know me. As you walk forward, do so with a spirit of expectation. Expect to see my hand at work in your life and in the world around you. Expect to be used by me in ways that surprise and delight you. Expect to grow in wisdom and depth of insight as you continue to seek my face and study my word. For those who seek me diligently will find not only the answers they seek, but also the God who loves them beyond measure. So, my dear child, step into each new day with courage and confidence, knowing that you are never alone. My love surrounds you, my spirit guides you, and my strength sustains you. You are equipped, called, and dearly loved. There is no challenge too great, no journey too long, and no night too dark that my light cannot overcome. My child, in your daily walk, let every step you take be guided by my grace and every decision you make be inspired by my wisdom. Your journey is not merely your own. It is a shared pilgrimage with me and with all those I have called you to love and serve. Together, we can create a tapestry of kindness, understanding, and mutual respect that can heal the wounds of division and strife. As you venture forward, remember that every encounter is an opportunity to demonstrate the compassion and love that I have shown you. See in each person not just a face, but a story, a life precious in my sight. When you interact with others, do so with a heart full of my love, ready to listen, ready to help, and always ready to forgive. For forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door to peace and reconciliation, both with others and within oneself. Hold fast to faith, even when the road turns uncertain and the shadows grow long. Faith is the beacon that lights your way through the storm, the anchor that holds you steadfast in turbulent seas. Remember the heroes of faith, whose stories have been passed down through generations. Like them, your faith, though tested, will prove resilient and will bring forth a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Nurture your spirit with prayer and meditation, seeking my presence in the quiet moments of your life. In these sacred pauses, you will find rest for your soul and clarity for your mind. My spirit speaks in the stillness, offering guidance and wisdom for the journey ahead. Through prayer, you align your heart with my heart, your desires with my desires, and your will with my will. In service, find your purpose and in giving, find your joy. I have equipped you with unique talents and gifts, use them not for personal gain, but as instruments of my love and agents of my will. In serving others, you fulfill your calling and discover the deep satisfaction that comes not from worldly success, but from contributing to a greater good. Always be a bearer of hope. In a world often clouded by cynicism and despair, 
Let your life be a radiant example of optimism and confidence in my goodness and faithfulness. Share this hope with others, encouraging them with your words and inspiring them with your actions. Hope is contagious, and a hopeful spirit can bring light to the darkest places. And as you go forth, do so with a joyful heart. Remember, joy is not dependent on your circumstances, but on your relationship with me. It is a fruit of my spirit, a gift that thrives in the heart of those who trust in me. Let this joy be your strength and your song a testament to the abundant life that I have promised to all who follow me. Walk in love, live in faith, and act in hope. Be confident that I am with you always, guiding, supporting, and loving you at every step. Your journey is not just about reaching a destination, but about growing closer to me and reflecting my love to the world around you. My son, as you continue to embrace this journey, Remember that growth often comes through challenges and learning often comes through trials. Embrace every experience as an opportunity to deepen your faith and broaden your understanding of my ways. Each obstacle you overcome, each burden you bear, and each victory you celebrate is a stepping stone on your path towards spiritual maturity. My child, be patient with yourself and with others for growth is a process. Just as a seed must die to sprout new life, so too must old ways give way to new growth. This transformation may be uncomfortable, even painful at times, but it is necessary for producing the fruit of a righteous and fulfilling life. Do not be discouraged by setbacks, for they are but temporary. Instead, Focus on the progress you are making and trust in my timing and my plan for your life. Embrace the community of believers around you, for you are all members of one body, each with a unique role to play. Support one another in love, encourage one another in faith, and strengthen one another in service. Celebrate your diversity, for it is through the blending of different gifts, perspectives, and talents that my body functions most effectively. In unity, there is strength, and in diversity, there is beauty. Be diligent in studying my word, for it is your map and your guidebook. It contains the wisdom of the ages, the promises of eternity, and the principles for living a life that is pleasing to me. Let it dwell in you richly, informing your decisions and shaping your thoughts. As you meditate on its truths, you will find guidance for the present and hope for the future. Live each day with purpose, knowing that your time on earth is precious and every moment counts. Do not waste your days on pursuits that do not satisfy or on gains that do not last. Seek instead to make a lasting impact, to leave a legacy of love and faithfulness that will endure long after you are gone. Invest in relationships, engage in acts of kindness, and spread the message of my love, for these are the treasures that will follow you into eternity. Finally, my dear child, as you walk through life's journey, keep your eyes fixed on the eternal. This world is but a temporary residence, and your true home is with me. Live as a citizen of heaven, a sojourner on earth whose hope is anchored in the unshakable promises of my word. Let this eternal perspective guide your choices and inspire your actions. Go now, with my blessing and my peace. Know that I am with you every step of the way, cheering you on, comforting you in times of sorrow, and celebrating with you in times of joy. Walk boldly and confidently in the path I have laid out for you for it leads to everlasting life and unending joy. My dearest child, let this assurance fill you with peace and drive your every action. As you navigate the complexities and demands of this world, remember that your ultimate destiny is secured by my love and sacrifice. Nothing you face today can alter the eternal outcome that awaits you. No trial is too great, no night too dark, and no mistake irreversible. In me, 
You find redemption and renewal at every turn. Continue to live out your faith with courage and commitment, for in doing so, you shine as a beacon of hope and a testament to my power. Your life, lived in alignment with my will, is a powerful sermon preached without words. It draws others towards the light and offers them the same hope and peace you enjoy. Encourage those who struggle, lift up those who are down, and share the burdens of those in pain. Be a friend to the lonely, a guide to the lost, and a comfort to the sorrowful. In each act of kindness and every word of love, my kingdom is built on earth, reflecting the glory of heaven. Stay vigilant in prayer, for it is your lifeline to me. It is the channel through which you receive wisdom, strength, and guidance. In prayer, you align your spirit with my spirit, and your heart beats in rhythm with mine. This communion transforms you, empowers you, and prepares you to face whatever lies ahead with confidence and grace. Also, immerse yourself in worship, for it is through worship that you come into my presence most fully. Worship lifts your spirit and fills your heart with joy. It is a celebration of my sovereignty and your salvation. Let your life be marked by joyous worship, not just in songs and prayers, but in every moment of your life. As you continue on your journey, do not hold tightly to the things of this world. They are fleeting and temporary. Instead, invest in the eternal, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. These virtues make rich the soul and store up treasures in heaven that never fade. Remember, no matter what you face, I am sovereign. I see the end from the beginning, and all my plans for you are for good. Trust in my timing and my perfect will. Even when the path seems unclear, know that I am leading you in love. I will make your way straight and your footsteps sure. So go forward with faith my beloved child. Be bold and steadfast. Your journey is not just about reaching a destination, but about becoming more like me with each step. It's about spreading light in a world that desperately needs it. You are my ambassador, my voice, and my hands in this world. Through you, I reach others with love and grace. My beloved child, as you walk forward on this journey, Always be mindful that each day is a gift a unique opportunity to manifest the reality of my kingdom here on earth, to bring to life the teachings of my word in practical, tangible ways. Each morning presents a new canvas on which to paint with acts of love and threads of compassion, weaving together a life that not only speaks of my love, but is an active demonstration of it. Embrace each opportunity to serve as a privilege not a burden. For in service, you align yourself with my son's example, who came not to be served, but to serve. This is the path to true greatness in my kingdom, where the last shall be first, and the humble are exalted. Service redefines success, not by worldly standards, but by the measure of self-giving love and sacrifice. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season, you will reap if you do not give up. The impact of your deeds may not always be immediately visible, but trust that they are accumulating, building a legacy of faith that will outlast your time on earth. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every moment of patience is a seed sown into the lives of others, which will bear fruit in due time. In your interactions, be slow to judge and quick to forgive. Remember that everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Extend grace liberally, as you have received grace from me. In a world quick to criticize and slow to understand, be a beacon of empathy and understanding. Let your words heal, not wound, bringing life where there is despair. Continue to cultivate a heart of gratitude. Thankfulness is the soil in which joy thrives. Even in trials, look for reasons to be grateful, 
For challenges are often the very tools I use to shape you into the person I have called you to be. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to the abundance I provide and opens your eyes to the myriad of ways I am working in and through your life. Moreover, remain connected to the community of believers. Your faith journey was never meant to be a solitary endeavor. In community, you find strength, wisdom, encouragement, and accountability. As you share life together, you will discover that your own burdens are lightened and your joys are multiplied. The church is not just a place you go. It is a people you belong to, a family united by faith and love. Finally, hold fast to the hope that is set before you. This world is not your home. You are destined for a greater reality, one free from pain, suffering, and tears. Let this hope anchor you in the storms of life, reminding you that what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Live not for the temporal but for the eternal, and let your daily life reflect the glory that is to come. Therefore, go in peace, my child. Walk in the confidence of my love and the certainty of my presence. Know that I am with you every step of the way, guiding, providing, and loving you more deeply than you can ever comprehend. Live boldly, love widely, and serve joyfully, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. My child, as you venture forward, remember that each step is a step of faith a journey, not just of physical movement, but of spiritual growth and deepening commitment. Each decision you make and every interaction you have can be infused with my divine purpose, turning ordinary moments into sacred encounters. Consider your days as opportunities to manifest the principles of my kingdom here on earth. Just as I taught through parables and lived by example, so too must you live a life that preaches without words, a life that shows the beauty and truth of my ways. This does not mean you must be perfect, but that you are continually striving towards perfection towards a deeper relationship with me and a clearer understanding of my will. In your striving, be gentle with yourself and others. Remember that growth is a process. It involves trial and error, stumbling and rising again. Allow for grace in your journey and in the journeys of those around you. Celebrate the small victories and learn from the setbacks. Each is an integral part of becoming who I have designed you to be. Stay vigilant in your faith. The world can be a distracting and often discouraging place, but I have overcome the world. Do not let your heart be troubled or afraid. Instead, strengthen it with my word, which is the sword of the spirit. Arm yourself with my promises, which are true and enduring, and let them be the shield that protects you from the arrows of doubt and despair. Lean on your community, the body of believers who are your brothers and sisters in faith. Together, you are a formidable force against the darkness. Together, you can support, encourage, and remind each other of the truth when the world offers lies. My spirit dwells within each of you, creating a bond that is unbreakable, forged in love and fired in faith. Seek to serve not out of obligation, but out of love. Service is the very heart of my kingdom. It is through acts of selfless love and humble service that the greatest testimonies of faith are written. Each act of service, no matter how small it may seem, is a reflection of my love for you and your love for each other. Through service, you find the deepest joy and fulfillment. Not because you are seeking it, but because in giving, you receive. Be a beacon of hope and a harbinger of peace. In a world filled with strife and anxiety, let your presence be one that brings calm and reassurance. Speak words that bring life, offer prayers that move mountains, and live in such a way that your peace, my peace, overflows to those around you. And through all these things, remember, you are never alone. I am with you always, in every moment, every struggle, 
in every triumph. My love surrounds you, my grace sustains you, and my presence guides you. Rest in this assurance and let it fill you with an unshakable peace and an unstoppable joy. So go forth, my child, with boldness and confidence, knowing that you are loved beyond measure, guided by my hand, and destined for a glory that far outweighs any earthly trial. Live fully, love deeply, and serve passionately, knowing that in each word and deed, you are sharing my light with the world. My dearest child, continue to cherish this connection we share, knowing that our relationship is the cornerstone of everything you are and everything you will become. Embrace this bond daily, drawing from its strength and wisdom. Through prayer, through reading my word, and through quiet moments spent in my presence, deepen this connection, for it is the source of true power and peace. As you go about your daily tasks, carry with you a sense of purpose that transcends the mundane. Know that each action, no matter how small, can have profound implications when done in my name. From the simplest acts of kindness to the grandest gestures of love, everything contributes to the unfolding of my divine plan. You are part of something larger than yourself, a tapestry of grace that stretches across generations and borders. Hold fast to the virtues of patience and perseverance, for the road will not always be smooth. There will be trials and there will be tests, as there are in any worthwhile endeavor. These moments are not to break you, but to build you. They are opportunities to demonstrate the depth of your faith and the strength of your commitment to walking in my ways. Remember, too, that you are called to be a light in the darkness. In a world often shadowed by selfishness and fear, let your life be a beacon of hope and a testament to the transformative power of unconditional love. Show the world what it means to live not for oneself, but for others. Not in fear, but in faith. In your journey, do not seek to go it alone. Forge relationships that uplift and inspire. Surround yourself with those who not only share your faith, but who challenge you to grow in it. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. These relationships are invaluable, providing comfort in moments of need and celebration in moments of joy. And as you build these relationships, extend your circle ever outward. Be inclusive, showing love to all, regardless of their background, belief, or station in life. My love knows no boundaries, and neither should yours. Each person you encounter is a beloved child of mine, worthy of love and respect. Live each day with an eye toward eternity, understanding that the life you live now is but a precursor to the life that is to come. Let this eternal perspective guide your decisions, shape your priorities, and give you hope in times of despair. The troubles of this world are temporary, but the joys of the next are eternal. Lastly, trust in my perfect timing. Know that I am orchestrating all things for your good. While you may not always understand my ways, you can rest assured that my plans are for your benefit and for the fulfillment of my kingdom. Have faith, not just in my power, but in my love for you, which is steadfast and unchanging. My child, continue to walk in humility and grace, knowing that every moment you live and every breath you take is a gift from me. As you go about your life, embody the virtues I have laid out in my word, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Each of these is not merely a moral attribute, but a reflection of my character within you. Embrace each day as an opportunity to make a difference in the world, whether in large or small ways. The actions you take and the words you speak can be powerful agents of change. Be intentional in your interactions, choosing to spread positivity and encouragement. In doing so, you not only brighten the lives of others, but also bring honor to my name. 
In times of uncertainty or difficulty, turn to me in prayer. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. I am always listening, and my peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Remember, my peace is a sanctuary, a refuge in the storm, and it is freely available to you at all times. As you face challenges, know that you are not facing them alone. I am with you, I am for you, and I will not forsake you. The trials of this life are temporary, but they bring about eternal rewards as you persevere and grow in faith. Use these trials as opportunities to demonstrate your trust in me, to deepen your reliance on my strength rather than your own. Continue to serve others with a heart full of compassion. See each act of service as a way to demonstrate my love to a world in need. Whether you are helping a neighbor, volunteering in your community, or supporting a cause that is close to your heart, these acts of service are a practical demonstration of my kingdom at work on earth. Stay connected to the community of believers. This fellowship is vital, as it provides support, accountability, and spiritual nourishment. Together, you can grow more effectively than you can alone. Celebrate each other's victories, bear one another's burdens, and encourage each other to live lives worthy of the calling you have received. Always be ready to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience, so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. Your life is a witness to the truth of my love and the power of my resurrection. Finally, look forward with joyous anticipation to the day when you will see me face to face. The struggles and pains of this world will fade away in the light of my glory. Until that day, live each day fully, love deeply, and serve faithfully, as you await the glorious future I have prepared for you.